Hey there everyone, this is Chef MKT, and welcome back to Let's Play My Little Pony Magic Shards, yes. Now obviously with the last video I just posted, I completely tore this game apart, it was so much fun. So, apparently he has fixed all of the bugs according to him, so let's see how broken it is. So I'm just going to quickly start a new game because there is a bunch of bugs that I did not show in that speed run that I did because it didn't really um, speed up the game, but I'll see if it's still in here. And I'm going to assume it is, because I found out a lot of bugs like last night. So first things first, Fluttershy. Let's go to, to the character select screen. Oh look, the introdu it goes back to the introduction. Hmm, I think someone needs to fix that. Right? Yes, I think so. Now, the way that I found these bugs is because of that one person that told me, "Hey, you can go back to the character select screen to f to um get out of that uh, library secret bonus level." And I was like, "Oh, really? Maybe I should try this with every single other situation ever." And it turns out because of that, I eventually found all these other bugs. So, bug number one that I did in my speed run, money making games. Does this still exist? Let's see. Back to the character select screen. I still get money. Um, yeah. I still get infinite money. Okay. So, Mr. Developer Guy, are you sure you fix all of the important bugs? Because I'm pretty damn sure this is a big, big oversight. Just saying yo. Because look at all that money. Anyway. So, the second bug that I found using the character select thing was Twilight Spackle. Spackle. Spackle? Spackle. So, you know that um, bug that I found where you charge up Twilight's um, shot and then you die or complete the level and then the next character you choose will still have Twilight's shot? Well, if you go to the character select screen and let's pick someone, oh, I don't know, let's say Pinkie Pie? Let's go with Pinkie Pie. What do we have here? Pinkie Pie is now a unicorn. So yeah, <laughs> this is still... The bug is still here, it's just that there's another way you can do it. And I can still fire the shot. Blech. It's not as big, but it still works. Alright, so another bug, another bug. Um, actually, Applejack was the biggest bug that I found, so let's see how he fixed it. He removed the hover and replaced it with a regular double jump. I see. You, just, you didn't want to deal with trying to fix the hovering thing. Seems a bit complicated, so you just won't let her get a regular double jump. That's fun, I suppose. It's probably the best solution and the easiest one, I think. But there is one problem that you overlooked. For some reason, Applejack's double jump functions a little, a little bit differently compared to everyone else's double jump. Like so. Uh-huh. So instead of having a really broken bug, you ended up and replacing it with a rather amusing bug, which may or may not be exploitable. I haven't found a use for this yet. But yeah, Applejack is now Spider-Man. <laughs> Don't worry about me, folks. Just your friendly neighborhood Applejack. Gonna swing across the treetops and buildings in order to save the people of whatever city Spider-Man lives in. So let me just go quickly finish this level and then we'll go on to the next set of bugs that I've been exploiting. Namely the one in the library. So let me go quickly get access to the library and then we'll see what he's done to fix that. Alright. And for some reason that didn't complete the level. Anyway, I'll be right back whenever I get to the next major bug that I found. Hey there everyone, I am back. We are at the first bonus level. Because it occurred to me that, well, if I could use the, the um, go back to the character select screen to reset all of the goodies in the bonus level, like the Twilight Spackle uh, library, would it also work in this type of area? My guess is yes. Now obviously the other thing is that the Rainbow Dash is actually a Dare and Do skin, it's supposed to be the other way around. For some reason it's inverted. So Mr. Developer Guy needs to fix that too. But I never actually went to one well, uh, uh, sorry, I never actually showed on camera what, what is at the end of the bonus level. So it's just basically a whole bunch of one-ups and phoenixes. Nothing too much. 
that's a pretty nice, nice deal, right? But, oh look, I can go back to the character select screen. What does that mean? Everything resets. So, Mr. Developer Guy, you might want to disable the, um, go back to the character select screen on places like this too. Just saying. Because look at all the money I'm getting. Money, money, money. Man, Daring Boo is going to be like such a baller. She doesn't even need to explore anymore. She's going to be like... Uh, she's going to be as rich as Batman. Let's just put it that way. Or Iron Man. I, I know Iron Man's pretty damn rich. So yeah, I can just do this again and again. It's pretty much the same as the library stuff. It's just a lot more slower. So let's just go back. Alright. I'll see you guys whenever I get to another major bug that I found. Alright guys, I am at the library. Let's go see what Mr. Developer Guy has done in order to fix the little issue that he has with people getting exorbitant amounts of supplies and goodies and stuff like that. Now while I'm collecting this, I'll just let you know just how bad this was. Basically, what the Developer Guy had to do was he had to erase the high scores posted up for this game because of me. <laughs> what I did was I just kept collecting things and again and again and again in this area. And then I just flooded the high scores with my own scores, essentially. So I got around a million points or so and then just started posting high scores, just spammed the crap out of it. Just to make a point, because if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Isn't that right? Yes it is, yes. Now, this first thing I want to try is, can I go back to the, to the character select? No, I cannot. Good, so you disabled it in this area. Thank goodness for that. So let's go finish collecting all of the goodies, and then let's see what else we can find. Oh, my sir. Get the coins. Gotta get all the coins, because getting all the coins is very important. Because I do believe you still get the 200 bit bonus, even though it's a bonus level. Oh man, I'm running in so much money. Money, money. We even got some little phoenixes on the bed. Nice. Alright. Did that poor thing just move when I completed the level with perfect scores? That was weird. <laughs> okay. So, yep, 200 bit bonus. Let's go back in there and see if everything is actually fine. Alright. Okay, looks like everything is cleared out. Thank goodness for that. There's still a phoenix there. But that's not too bad. Alright. I can use the character select here. Okay. Well, hang on. I want to... I saw a level finishing orb there. Let's go use it. Does it work? Yes, it does. Oh. Okay. I got 200 bits for doing that. Oh boy. Did you just put in... Yeah, because the library is completely empty, so it's considered a level complete. And you get 200 bits from it when you complete the level. With a perfect a level bonus. So essentially you've given me another way to get 200 bits for free. Every single time. That doesn't really solve the problem of grinding out money. That just kind of delays it a little bit. You might need to fix that too, buddy. Alright, so let's go continue on and let's see if I can find any more bugs. I'll see you guys in a second. Gotta get my level skips. Alright guys, I'm here at the second boss. I'm gonna use Applejack. Because, even though Applejack does not have a hover anymore, she can still cheese out the boss because her double jump is still pretty damn good. So I'll just show you guys really quickly why. Because for some reason, I can still hop on this guy regardless of what he does. Oh look, the boss is dead. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm showing this is because if you actually use Rainbow Dash against this guy, you can't actually do that. He'll actually counter attack you when you try to jump on him. But for some reason, it doesn't do that when you use Applejack. So I don't know what the deal is up with that. Alright, so let's go skip the rest of the Everfree Frost levels and then we can go see what the third boss is all about. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, that didn't, that didn't take too long enough. I just went to the first stage and then just grabbed that extra life at the very t on top, on the top shelf of the um, bookshelf in the very beginning, over and over again, to get the amount of money I needed for level skips. Alright, so boss free, as you probably already know if you watched my speedrun. If not, I won't show you the spoilers. <laughs> but yeah. 
odd thing happened. So, I'll basically, during this fight, I'll talk about what I was doing last night when I was finding all these bugs. Basically, I was like, okay, let's play around with this boss, and then I realized, oh, hey, this guy shoots a um, little bullet chicken job on, like, the, yeah, these things here. So I was like, okay, let's see what I can do with this. And I just jumped on these, having fun, getting up as high as I could with Rainbow Dash. And then, uh, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should try doing this with um, other characters, so I did that. And eventually, I ran into Applejack. And then that's when I realized that Applejack could do that insane springo boingy 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 thingy with her tail and everything just went from there which was a lot of fun I might add now the other thing that I need to show you guys here is that as I was doing this I wanted to like switch characters very quickly very quickly so I decided decided to use the um uh character select um hotkey which I believe is backspace I'm not quite sure because I'm using my arcade stick at the moment. So, as I was doing that, I encountered a very, very, very odd bug. Let me just finish this boss fight first, so I can validate that I actually can beat this guy without I'm cheating. <laughs> there we go. Hey, there we go. Alright, so, if you go to the character select screen, from a boss fight, you get sent back to the previous screen. Now, what I assume the character select thing is supposed to do is, a, is supposed to go back to the character select screen. So basically all the um, character select screen, the character select thing does is that it just puts you back one screen. So you can just farm here for hearts if you really need it. Which is really silly. Anyway, another bug that I found out when I was playing around with Applejack in this area is that if you do the helicopter bouncy thingy with my mob, you can actually go past the area where it registers you to go to the boss fight, and then you'll fall off into a hole and die. <laughs> I might actually show that later on, I'm not sure. Probably not. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway, I'll just skip this boss fight, and then we'll go ahead to actually, um, the last area of the game. How does that sound? Sounds good? Sounds pretty good. Alright, let's go do that. Alright, now that's over and done with. And may I add that even though the boss fight itself is fairly monotonous, it does incorporate some ideas from the show, like the chocolate rain, the exploding um, chocolate milk glasses and stuff like that. That's kind of nice, I like that. It's just that the boss fight itself isn't that interesting at all. Just saying. Alright, so 4-1. Oh boy. Now, there is one problem I have with this game, and is that the last area of the game is not as good as the previous three. So the first thing that I notice is that the background is completely black. That may be a design choice, but it is it is it has to have a reason for it to be completely black and plain. If there is no good reason, then there is no point in actually doing this. And as I, from what I could tell from previously playing this, it has absolutely no reason to be completely black. I know it's supposed to be like, oh, it's the last area of the of the game. It has to be all like dark and stuff. I don't care, it's boring. And the other thing in this level in particular is that it is extremely long-winded. It is really long. It is long, extremely large, and has no reason for it to be this large. And the other thing about this area is that I'm pretty sure some characters can't actually do those trampoline jumps, namely Rarity and Big Mac, from what I can recall from the top of my head. They can't actually do this part of the, the um, level. So, you know, that's going to be an issue. Actually, I think Rarity can do that area, but not the next part. Anyway. So basically, the idea here is that this place is like a giant maze. You have to find the switch to continue on to the next area of the level. So I guess while we go go find these blooming switches, I guess I can talk about other things, I suppose. Maybe? No. No, probably not. I probably just want to talk about how... The last areas of this game make me very sad. Oh look, Hapjack's floating in midair again. Oh jeez. Oh, almost, almost fell down. That was close. Alright, let's go collect the goodies on this side. Because there are some goodies you want to get. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Now, this level I really dislike because one, the background is plain and black. It is completely boring. Two, that doesn't help because of the fact that, th that this level is extremely, extremely large. 
free. There are absolutely no enemies in this area, which is okay, I guess, but that makes the really huge ass level even more boring than it already is. So, you know, some of the, the yeah, the design choices in the last area of the game just ah, makes me so sad. I'm just I'm just a very sad panda today. I forgot what I alright, I was supposed to continue. No. What the heck? Well, see, this is the problem with areas like this. You have no idea where you're supposed to go next. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't know. I'm not thinking straight today. Where the heck am I supposed to go, game? Oh, am I supposed to go up? I think I'm supposed to go up. That might be a good place to start. Let's try up. 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 Let's go. Oh, there it is. Uh, Alright, hoppy, hoppy, hop. Now, I cannot be bothered getting a perfect level bonus in this area, and what's the point if I can if I can just use a level skip to do the same thing? So, I don't really see much point in doing that. Aha! This place. Now, remember way back earlier in one of my first videos for this game, I noticed that the slope affects your jumping quite a bit? Well, <laughs> because of that... He, the developer of the game, somehow incorporated those weird slope mechanics into an actual part of this level. Which is actually a great idea, I like that. So that is at least plus one points to you, Mr. Guy. Oh, then I fall down. That would be very bad. Alright, where am I supposed to go from here? I'm supposed to, like, over here somewhere? Oh, over here, right. Oh, let's fall down. There we are. I think that's the last part of this area, so that is enough talk about how bad this level is. I'm sorry, but come on, man. This level is absolutely horrible. I don't like it at all, one bit. <sighs> Alright. It didn't... <sighs> Hang on, let me buy a level skip. Oh, that frustrates me to no end. Okay, give me that level skip. Yes, thank you. Do, 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 Give me that. Skip it, skip it, skip it. Right, next area. The next area will be done at another time because after that level, I'm very disappointed now. I'm very sad. I don't want to play this game after doing that level. So I'll see you guys next time, whenever that may be.